Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you guys can see in the title, it is my 12 month braces update. I will be doing a lot of voiceover in this video because there is a lot of background music and I did not want to make a lot of cuts when it came to the whole process because this video is a very important one. If you guys wanna go ahead and check out my journey from the beginning to now our 12 month update, I will be linking the playlist up above as well in the description down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. A lot of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, so please do. Bye. Five, five. Open. 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 Victoria, te voy a decir lo mismo que siempre te digo. Para mí, los dos, los de, y esto lo hemos hablado desde el primer día de la consulta, los dos tuyos deben ir más para atrás. El problema es que si tú no tienes espacio para moverlos para atrás, ellos no van a moverse. Una sí hay una mesa, no pueden ocupar el mismo espacio. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it looks great, but yes, they're both. Two. For for my taste, they both too forward. Yeah. So I'm gonna check the X-ray bind. But if there is no brackets that have to be changed, which I don't think they are, it's not gonna get any better than this. So I would put a final wire. I have to give you it probably two more visits, and we will be removing the brackets. Okay. Okay. Buy it again. I'm gonna remove the blue stuff that you have in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see because this is important to me. I remember we talked about we're gonna reshape like those. Do you see how they're wavy? Mm -hmm. So once I reshape them a little bit, they're gonna look super straight, okay? Open big sheen up. I'm gonna remove this. Ready? Mm -hmm. If you feel anything, don't move, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some rubber fans see if that helps with the way your front teeth are touching mm -hmm. but again that tends to help while you're waiting wearing your bands once you remove your bands they tend to go back to the same position and the problem is that you are only able to wear bands while you're in braces mm -hmm. eventually i'm going to get you out of braces so those bands are not going to help anymore. Mm. If you ever get to the point that you're like, that, I want to do a structures, I want them push back, just let me know. Ella tiene un steel tie en el lower, yo creo que es el lower left board, pero tengo que fijar bien. Estoy de segura que lo enganches bien ahí y pónmela en clase 3 elásticos. Okay. 
So as you guys just heard, the x-ray machine was ready for us to use. When you have braces, your doctor, whether it be a dentist or an orthodontist, will have you do x-rays throughout the duration of your braces journey. I'm not sure how many x-rays your doctor will order, but in my case, my doctor ordered two x-rays. One in the beginning, right before I started, and then now, 12 months in. The main reason for these x-rays is so that way your doctor can see the progress from when you first started up until now. Again, it already depends on your dentist on how many x-rays you do throughout your whole braces journey, but in my case, like I said, I only had two. The doctor doctor was really happy with the progress that I am making and you will go ahead and see that further on in the video. Little side note, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so if you guys are watching this, please make sure that you guys are liking this video as well as subscribing to my channel. So as you guys saw, I'm all done with the x-rays and now we are back in the chair. The technician is going to be putting on the single bands on top and then the power chain on the bottom. So you're getting single ties on top next this time. You're not getting the oh, power sorry, chain. changing the wire? Uh, no, not today. Let me see. She mentioned something about changing wires, but she reconsidered. I'm gonna go ahead and let the music roll for this part, but you guys get the drift. The single bands on the top and the power chains on the bottom. And here comes a surprise that I told you about earlier. In three, two, one. You're gonna wear some rubber bands. <laughs> help you with your bike all right all right all right i'm dramatic <laughs> back to the music it's me again the power chains guys if you guys have had power chains, which I would assume you guys have if you guys are watching this video. If not, power chains, when they are put on, there is so much pressure. It's not pain, but more pressure and discomfort, but it's not painful, if that makes sense. You guys are gonna be seeing my eyes like squint and like my face do like faces, you know? My face does faces. Yeah, is that you say? But yeah, because you guys are gonna be seeing me feeling the pressure.
this guy up here. To the lower canine. Brown eye. From here to the canine. The first, yeah, molar. The first silver one. Mm -hmm. So as you guys previously heard, my orthodontist wants to try to push my teeth more back and see if maybe there will be some sort of wiggle room to push them back. We are hoping and praying, crossing our fingers that these rubber bands do work for me. These rubber bands have to be worn 22 hours a day, have to be taken off in order to eat and drink, and that's pretty much it. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!